Hello darling, it's Louis here, it's the Benetton Fanatic and in this video I'm going to show you Benetton for families. I'm going to show you some of the fun things to do and the places to go if you're here as a family in Benetton. Let's go. I'm going to take you to show you some of the family friendly beaches to go to so the, the best place in my opinion to go to if you're here with a family I go towards the old town towards Poniente Levante is a great beach there's lots there for everybody but it's a bit more adult entertainment where the, the Poniente is a bit more family friendly some nice little parks and the beach is generally generally a lot better for families let's go take a look Okay, so along, along the way we've also got the Balcony de Mediterraneo, which is one of the best viewpoints as well here in Benidorm. It's a place where you can see Benidorm, as I always say, from two worlds. You can see the new town and you can see the old town from a great perspective. And it's nice just to bring your family up here and enjoy that amazing view along the way. I know that, Louis. Okay, so the first beach I'm going to take you is Playa del Malpa, which is a very small beach which is protected by a cove and there's not many stones in the water. It's a very smooth, sandy beach. It's a perfect take for each to bring the family and the children where you'll feel a little bit safe. And what a beautiful beach it is as well. Not a lot of people know about this beach or even come to this beach, but it's well worth, well worth it. And it's one of my favourite beaches to go and have a swim from. Now the old town itself is generally much better for families in general, I mean the old town has got lots of nice family friendly restaurants, lots of nice family friendly bars and it's very Spanish and um, where the Levante end is, how can I explain Levante end? It's still fun, there's still a lot of family friendly places but it's a bit more of an adult scene down that end where the old town is lovely and it's perfect. Now the best way to access Playa del Malpa Beach in my opinion is from the top of the Mediterranean balcony. You come down the steps in, it's just round the corner and it's a bit of a hidden hidden beach but it's lovely. It really is lovely down there. And then from there you've got Poniente as well which is um, you know, one of the big beaches in Benidorm. There we are, Playa del Malpa. And I think it's a perfect opportunity to have a lovely dip in that lovely beautiful Mediterranean Ocean. Now I think what I'll do is just like on bargain bricks in the sun, I'll take my clothes off and I'll get in the water once again. Let's see what the temperature of the water is this time of year. You might just have Go further. How lovely the water is. Go deeper. More. Actually, the more you get in, the water it does get to be honest. But what a beautiful beach. <laughs> Bye then. Stop like lying down. No, more like... Crouch. Crouch. Like this. Like Stay it. No. Stay it. On the side. On the side as well. You need to be like. No, I'm not doing it like that. Paint me like, paint me like one of your French ladies. <laughs> okay, so as a golden rule of thumb, what I tend to, how I tend to think when I'm in Benidorm, what do the Spanish do? They're the places to go. What do the Spanish think like? They, they are the places to visit. I mean, a lot of Spanish families come to the old town, and you can see why. It's completely very family friendly and next we're going to go into Poniente which is the main beach and along Poniente's main beach you've got nice little parks for the children as well and nice bars and nice restaurants which are all family friendly but another point to make out whilst I'm here this is one of the best places to book for excursions and a great excursion for the family is the boat over to Peacock Island you've got the glass bottom boat which is great where you can see all the all the, all the fish and all the all the underwater sea life whilst you're on it and it's it's not expensive but this is one of the places to book it as well and you do go from here in the old town as well over to the islands. Go. 
Okay, so here we are at Poniente's main beach, and as you can see, there's lots of families, lots of talking out, enjoying the glorious weather this time of year. But there's lots of lovely restaurants as well on the front here, lots of lovely parks. It's also a great place if you've got a dog, you can bring the dogs for a nice walk. And it's one of Benidorm's main biggest beaches here. But there's lots of little parks along the way. And obviously it's very Spanish, very Spanish. They send a lot of people say there is no there is no culture in, in Benidorm, but I beg to differ. If you're here, they send the Benidorm. There's a lot of culture, there's a lot of We've also got parts of Elche here, which is Dove Park, um, and it's great for families as well. We can feed the birds and they all come on top of you. It's a great little place to take the kids and love it. The old town as well, the main part of the centre of the old town is a great place to get a few bits of shopping when you're here with the family as well. There's lots of children shops, there's lots of clothes shops, there's lots of design shops, there's lots of little independent shops where you can come and spend lots of money before you go home. Okay, so from the old town here, I'm going to take you towards the ring light area of the plaza. I'm going to show you some of the fun places to go, so for example, the arcades, the bowling, etc. So let's go down and take a look. Now, obviously, in this video, I've only showed you a few of the fun family activities. I'm not saying there's lots of there isn't lots of fun family activities as well in Newtown, because there is. There's lots of places. Benetton has lots and lots of variety, lots of different places to go, lots of things to do, and that's one of the things about Benetton. As I've said before as well, Benetton is one of them places with literally everything for everyone. You've also got, as we've just seen past now, one of the opened up tour buses. Now you get that on Levante Beach in the new town. It's 12 euros and it can take you right up through to the old town. It'll also take you to Altea and Albia, which are also great days out. And for that 12 euros ticket, you can get on and off as you please. And it's a, if you get up on the top of that bus, it's great for the kids and the families to have a nice little couple of hours out. But where we're going to next is Festi Landia, right next to the bowling place, right next to the arcades. And they have a sort of little Sort of theme park there as well for the smaller ones. It's great fun. Let's go have a look. So, we'll see how much the bowling actually costs. 
Next, I'm going to show you some of the fun-filled activities just about 10 minutes outside Benidorm. Now, Benidorm has a lot of places to go just outside. You've got the water park, you've got Terra Natura, and you've got the holiday lodges as well as uh, the first animal water park as well here in Benidorm. Let's take a look at the zoo whilst we're here. Right, so what I'll do now is I'll show you the prices of the zoo. I'll go to the box office and I'll tell you what the rates are and the prices. Now, it's worth pointing out, if you go around various venues in Benidorm, for example, McDonald's, KFC, there are lots of vouchers throughout the year where you can get discounts for these sorts of places. So for an adult, just for the zoo alone, it's 37 euros as a standard price. For the water park, it's 37 euros as well. But you can get, including parking, you can get combined tickets for 48 euros. But sometimes if you look on the website, you will get a discount. And like I said, look out for them slips around Benidorm as well. But it's worth pointing out, the parking is extra at five euros, which isn't cheap. Now it is worth pointing out, if you do get a combined ticket, if you do want to do the full two parts as well, you need to get here very early because it can be a long day. Now there are lots of other activities, lots of other experience. You can have the experience with the animals, you can get hands on with the animals, and you can also swim with the sea lions, which is fabulous. I've done it myself and I had a great day, but you do need to get here very early. <laughs> So we've also got Terra Mythica, which is a great theme park as well. It's only small, but it's another great day out. There's some great little rides in there. It's great for all ages, and it's a good, fun-filled day out. And it's only about five minutes, actually, from the water park, and about ten minutes from Benidorm. <laughs> guys well thank you for watching this video and i hope it has been very informative to you as to where to go if you're here with a family okay and don't forget if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave us a comment if you've been to any of these fabulous places here in benedorm leave us a comment and hit that notification bell and don't forget to subscribe it's absolutely free okay and as i always say if you can be anything in this life be fabulous